what's going on? I've just started this new stream. Why? Because when it comes to videos on demand, when you guys go back and look at our previous videos, I want to differentiate between Mike's wonderful stream that he just did on Blender Environments, which was getting really long. It was an hour and 43 minutes. And uh, this stream, which I'm most of the way through now, if you're watching this, if you're watching this stream, I'm going to finish off what I'm doing. But if you want to see the first half of my part of the stream, you need to go back 45, the last four, you need to watch the last 45 minutes ish of the stream that I'm about to link you to in the chat. So I'll link you there in the chat. Watch last 45 mins of this first. Boom. All right. So th that gives you now a consistent journey. S uh, Twitch is a bit rubbish in that I set up all, I mean, I love Twitch. Don't get me wrong. Sorry, Twitch guys. I don't mean you're rubbish in general. Uh, but I set up all these events right here and I say when I'm going to stream, but Twitch won't actually set the stream name to those things. So I kind of rolled in from Mikey's Twitch because I thought that'd be fun, but we were still streaming from a video on demand point of view into this Blender environment. So hopefully you understand what I'm talking about. I'll stop rabbiting on, keep talking about version control. Maybe this has served the purpose of this having finished all the way pushing to the web. Not yet. It's also a bit risky pushing a project this big while I'm streaming. So I'm guessing that the stream is still okay. Gonna just have to switch tw Twitch Inspector out. I'm also getting some good advice about Twitch. I think you can split up the video after. You probably can, but it's talking about lean production. It's leaner for me to split it up now, right, as I go. So, because otherwise I've got extra work to do later and it, it may affect the quality of the way those videos tie together, etc. So better to do everything lean if you possibly can do it in the moment. What I'll do in future is just end the stream, start the stream. Very simple. Just say, hang on, don't go anywhere else. Then I'll start the new stream and introduce it. So we're still pushing that away. I think I've covered the basics here that we need to know. Um, your three op uh, your, your version control options, are, your, your reasonable version control options are three. Git, which I'm going to be using. You could also consider SVN, SVN, and you could also consider Mercurial which has the benefit that it's directly supported inside of source tree and others. Okay, so that's the bottom layer. That is the version control system. You don't even need a graphical front end for that. You can just use the command line. I'm going to use Git. I'm not really particularly going to justify it. It works. Lots of people use it. I'm justifying it now. I'm not going to justify it. Look into the others if you want. Now you need to add another layer. You don't need to. You might want to, unless you're hard ass then you're going to probably want some sort of graphical user interface. Why? Mainly to draw the pretty history trees for you. OK, and you want one that you can quickly click into the terminal because you rarely can do everything you need to do in a graphical user interface. My top choice is source tree. Second choice is Git Kraken. Third choice would probably be Git client for no particular reason. If you're going to set it up with source tree, make the effort to set up SSH authentication. It's a pain in the bottom, but once it's done, really easy from then on. Number three, you're going to want a way to share your repositories on the Internet. My top choice. GitHub, because our stuff, I don't mind being public. And even if I did mind it being public, I wouldn't mind paying them a few dollars to keep it private. Um, but a very, very, very close second. Also, GitHub is really well indexed, right? From a, from a Google search point of view, there's a bunch of Unity example code that if you were to type it into Google, let me show you that. Our course will come up. Um, so if we were to go, I mean, this stuff's been around there for a while, right? So if I was to type, um, blah, 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 blah. let's find something that would be a good search term. Most of this wouldn't. Uh, oh, I thought something there. Terrain versus module asset approaches, right? If I was, by the way, you can often right click and say look up or search Google on your computer in one go. Um, oh, look what you find for that. OK, it's a bit contrived because I've just done a Google search for a very specific string. But if somebody's looking at that, look what they get as the second result on Google. Uh, well, actually, I got it as the second result on Google. Yeah, yeah, maybe we need to. And, somewhat anonymize myself by at least clearing my cookies by using an incognito browser. I did control shift N there. But um, one second, if we do that same search in a control shift N incognito browser, we still get our RPG core combat. So what I'm saying is I don't know how well indexed on how authoritative da, 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 that word um, a Bitbucket, which is my other alternative for hosting these things, repo would be compared to GitHub. So they're my reasons for going for GitHub. What can I say? What I should probably say is it's late, and I should probably also say, how am I doing on what I said I was going to cover, and how's this push going? So no problems with the stream during this push. That's good. That means I can push during the stream. Awesome. Um, we need to talk, I think, a little bit about the Git ignore and what the deal with the Git ignore is. Um, 
I modified that Gitignore yesterday at 10.35, and the place I got it from was from GitHub's website. A good tip for you about Gitignores, Gitignores are the file that tells Git what to not store. Don't store stuff that's not derived, that's derived information, that's not pure new value. Look at yesterday, my previous stream, to, 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 to see more about that. I'm not gonna repeat myself. But if you go for Unity Gitignore, what you want to look for, and I'm repeating myself from yesterday here, is this thing in github.com, blob, etc. And the thing that's on Unity, if it's being um, consistently contributed to, <coughs> lots of pull requests, lots of contributions, then it's probably a good gitignore. That's the one I'm using. So you need a .gitignore file. On the Mac, it's hard to show hidden files. My hidden files are shown in light here. Just Google for it. In a nutshell, I use this, show hidden files. I keep myself a text expander. It's a tool I use for expanding out text. That's what you have to write in terminal. And then you have to hold down the option key, right click, find it and say relaunch. Okay, and you change this to yes or no accordingly. Bit of a hassle, but once you've done it, you've got your hidden files. Then you can see your git ignore, edit it with something like Atom, off you go. Um, so it's not gonna be a complete treatise on version control, but what I will do is throw the fi rest, final 10 minutes of this stream out to, if you're watching this and you're a beginner in version control, what are your major questions about how to get going with just putting something under version control, committing it to the web and sharing it with other people? What are your, what are your major questions about that? Because I would like to answer them. And I could, you know what I can do? This is, this is crazy, it's a little crazy. I'm gonna dive over to Discord. This is how you get to Discord. It's crazy because I don't know if it's gonna work, but all the best things are like that, right? I'm sure I jumped off a building on fire once thinking this may not work. I did, and it did, because I'm still here. Um, so if I'm gonna go, this is crazy. I have no idea whether it's gonna work. Uh, Road Podcaster, yes. Um, outputting out to there, you should be able to hear it, yes. Um, will you hear me twice, maybe? Will you tell me in the chat? I'm sure you will. Okay, I'm going to voice chat on our Discord server. So if you want, you can ask me in, ch in voice. Defen, no. Dudes, how do I even use this? What am I doing wrong? Admin, moderators, voice lounge. Bindi's already there, look at him, bless him. Hey Bindi, hey Oboe Shape, how are you guys doing? So first question is, uh, am I coming through twice? Uh, do you have to write a write-up or blog post on this? No, Jay Brown, I don't have a write-up or blog post on this at the moment. Uh, what will happen is I will cement what we've done in this stream into a very simple either write-up or, or video in the Udemy course that we will create and you will be able to buy for, let's be honest, it'll be listed for eventually, initially $50, eventually $200, but realistically you're gonna be able to buy it for about $12, which Udemy dropped down to regularly, if you look out for a discount or if I give you a discount coupon in a future stream. So ultimately, yes, but you're gonna need to buy one off a course on Udemy um, to support us in that. So I will be doing that extra work offline. So, uh, guys, in the voice lounge, uh, can you hear me? And does anybody want to ask a voice question? If you are new to all this, go over to Discord, follow the couple of links up. Um, did I give you that? Yeah, Game Dev TV Discord, accept the invite, get your microphone sorted, get in the voice lounge, and I will talk to you. If anybody wants to just say hello, like Obo, how are you doing, Obo? Hello! Yeah, yeah. audio's clear. clear. Awesome. Now, uh, I better put my own earphones in so I can answer my own audio questions before we go any further. Um, just say something else again, Obo. Testing, one, two, three. Yeah, that's pretty good, I can hear you. The only thing is that you're slightly echoing back through the mic. I think that's just made myself a lot quieter. Bear with me a second. It has, yeah. So the only difficulty with this is I need to put a pair of headphones in, otherwise it's all gonna echo horribly. All right, so for the last few minutes, I'm just gonna take questions Preference to questions in voice on Discord and the other people who are top of the list are going to be those of you who are um, asking subscribers who are asking questions in the Twitch chat. So what's the what's the deal, guys? Tell us, tell us. And I will also open up. Is there an RPG channel over in Discord that isn't? Maybe yeah. we should open the more channel an RPG too. channel. Are you okay to do that, Ober? What's that? Sorry, Ben. Are you okay to create an RPG channel over on Discord? Uh, I'll need to speak with Mark. I don't think I can do that. I'll check. Okay, Mark or oh, Mark could do it. That would be awesome. Um, yeah, it'd be great if they would. Please create a hash RPG. Awesome. Great. Is there so, a push to talk option in Discord? Is there a? Was that you, Bindi? 
And that yeah. was me. Wow. Hello. Well, that's really cool to put a voice to the to the name. I love that. I love that unveiling. Where are you from in the world? Uh, Georgia. Oh, cool. Welcome. And Thanks. US. For some reason, it just sounded kind of um, Indian. So I presumed you're Indian. It's amazing, isn't it? You can't tell. A, can't tell. Everybody uh, thinks that I'm an Indian vegetable, but no. <laughs> Thank you for being on all the streams. You've been amazing. So uh, I really, really appreciate all your loyalty there. So guys, have, have, have any of you, uh, voice or text, got questions about simple version control? How do you set it up? How do you push your project to the web? Uh, what on earth's going on? What are you stuck with? Because I really, for this series, for your future as a game developer, I really want you using version control. If you're not, I'm, I'm worried. So waiting on the chat. We're using it, Bindi, um, Obo. You guys are already using version control. You already know what you're doing. Absolutely not. Not or are I'm you? learning though. Are oh, you learning? Okay, so Bindi, you're a great example. Thank you for for, for admitting that and, and joining in. Uh, where have you got to with it? What, what's the hardest bit? What's the scariest bit? Do you think rewatching this stream that you would be able to do it? Is it going to be too hard? What do you want me to cover in the Udemy content I'm about to create? To be honest, I don't know enough about it to uh, know. I've done the little GitHub uh, tutorial, but that's about it. Maybe as a starting point, I can challenge you right now, and you early guys who are really into this, to, to go to GitHub and to go get their desktop client, which I think is, it was linked earlier in the chat. Let me just go find it. Um, it's not there. Desktop.github.com. Why don't you just pop to desktop.github.com right now, if you want the challenge, and go get it. And try, um, why am I suggesting that over Source Tree? In this particular case, just because it's going to install the right version of Git and get you off, get you off the ground, huh, funny, um, easier. So try that to start with and just, just allow yourself to fail. Fail fast, um, play with it. You're not going to break anything whatsoever. The worst you can do is mess up a history of a repo that you weren't previously using, so it's all moving forward. And just dive in and, and get it, and try and get it done. And, and, and punny, funny, funny, punny, yeah. And if you need further help, then I will make sure that the Unity course content uh, covers what we need to get beginners off the ground. So when you see the Unity course, Udemy course rather, come out, um, consider buying it. It's going to be you'll be able to get it on sale. Take it, try and follow. And if you it should be to get you to the point where you can set up version control pretty reliably, that's the idea. I know there's a massive range of guys here, right? We've got people here on this stream who uh, just get version control. They're bored stiff. They probably left the st stream already. And we've got people who haven't even used it once. So just got to kind of get you all on the right, on the same page. Yeah, I think I just, I use it basically. In what way? What do you do and what do you not do, Obo? Um, for my projects, I set it up and I use it for... Just backups, but I think the biggest problem is fear is failing and doing something wrong and being able to have the confidence to roll it back. Yeah. There you go. So okay, I, I think push fear. to talk. Sorry, go ahead, Bindi. And then I was going to say, your... I think push to talk is working now. I was going to tell you that uh, Source Tree, I'm actually using it right now, oh, good. and I was able to create a repo on GitHub. I already had my GitHub uh, account. Yeah attached so secretly you're an advanced user no i just asked what we would need to know before the stream happened tonight and a couple people told me to check out source tree awesome good job all right so um see if you can get your unity get, get yourself a unity git ignore just do a google for unity git ignore as i said as i said earlier in the stream uh, anybody watching the stream who wants to clip useful parts like that please do just go back on the stream hit clip share them with people that would be great and I think you'll be all right. I think you'll get going. As you watch me use it over the, over the coming days and weeks, I think that uh, if you keep asking questions, don't ever be afraid in these streams to ask a question that's kind of going back a bit. Just because we've moved off Git, we've never moved off Git, right? It's not like school. It's not like we did Git and then now we're doing something else. No, we're going to use Git through the whole project, so we're going to talk about Git through the whole project. It's, it's spiral syllabus. Um, Obo, uh, fear that you're going to mess something up, but often fear is false expect. Uh, one little acronym I use is false expectations appearing real. It's like it feels real that this horrible thing is going to happen and it stops you moving forward, but really you're not going to die. And in fact, the worst you're going to do is get in a mess. 
<laughs> get in a mess. Oh my God, these puns aren't going away tonight. Um, so just play with it. Fail fast, fail often. I mean, today I was, uh, I was teaching or helping kids up the, up the recreation gown to try and ride that electric unicycle thing. And it's just, you just got to keep falling off. It's messy, sloppy, early success. Look how much we suck at live streams. Still suck at them, but look how much we sucked at them just a few days ago. You only have to roll back a few days to see how bad they were and how rapidly it's getting better. Just just do it, Obo. Is that is that a deal? You're just gonna get on and use oh it? yeah, I just uh, I just play about with it and then fumble away myself. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> awesome. Do do do. Okay, so two more questions and then I'm gonna end the stream. So trip uh, try Opticon. Awesome. Says uh, my preferred branching strategy. Why don't I just say watch as we go through the course and you'll see. Um, Basically, uh, the only reason to ever create a branch is so that two things can happen in parallel, basically. I'm talking about production now, not how we make courses. Um, I branch often, branch liberally, uh, and just say, this is what I'm trying to do. So a commit is a tiny step, a branch is like a destination. It's like I'm trying to get to X, I'm trying to add this feature, and then you merge it in later. But if there's only you working on your own, you basically don't use a branch, why bother? You basically branch when there's somebody else involved. But look, it's much more subtle than that as well. Watch the future streams. I'll be doing loads of branching and merging, and it'll make sense. Another great question, Jason Lee Deb. What is the challenge for you Twitch people? Uh, the challenge here is to get yourself a Unity project under version control and to push it to a public, to either a public or a private GitHub repo and to share that link with your, with your friends in where? Uh, probably in Discord, hash Unity, or you could use our forum, our, uh, our community forum, which is here. Um, yeah, that's your challenge. Just do what I just did, basically. Do what I just did. It's just, you don't have to use a massive Unity project. You can just have a cube on the screen, right? doesn't matter. Uh, get the git ignore. Maybe pop a readme in. That's good practice. Get it under a version control. Push it to something like Bitbucket or, or GitHub. So that's that. Um, I think I am nearly there. All right, awesome. I think we're pretty much uh, pretty much there for tonight. So uh, I will now start thinking about making the corresponding Udemy content for this tomorrow. Uh, need to be we need to be lean about this. Do everything in sequence. Or we want to be lean about it. Uh, you understand what more about what lean means. You'll hear me say the word lean a million times, and in about three years, you'll fully get what I mean by it. It's pretty cool. Um, and some of you already fully get what I mean by it, and some of you know more about it than I do, and will teach me in the chat what it really means. So it's going to be cool symbiosis. I've uh, got no other notes there. Uh, okay, a couple of other housekeeping things then. Please do follow us on Twitch if you're not already. Otherwise, you won't hear when we go live. The standard YouTube stuff. Subscribe, follow us, buy our merch. We haven't got any merch, but eventually we will have mugs and T-shirts and stuff to support all this. Uh, keep an eye on our schedule. Why that says no events found, I do not know. Give me just a second. I think it probably will on an incognito browser. It's just not doing it for me. Uh, schedule, yep. So looking at our page... You can see the event schedule, the event schedule is repeated into here. You can see the top clips, the clips that people have shared the most. You can see all the equipment I use to get my job done. Um, if you subscribe at tier two or three, you'll get the benefits and you'll also be listed on the uh, listed there and your Twitch channel will be linked to. Remember to use our customer moats yet. Yeah? Type colon GDT V and see what you get. Currently, it's just the leaf. Tomorrow, we should have a question mark for questions and my face at 45 degrees, which is going to be awful. Colon first, Bindi. Uh, GD oh, GDTV leaf five. Cool. Um, yep, yeah, cool. Dan Bio, he's got a very lean approach to procrastinating. That's like what we want to see. I guess you can use bits with it. I wonder what you can use bits with. You can always just slam bits into the chat whenever you like. You can click this button here and cheer us. Um, really, uh, it's a bit of fun, creates a leaderboard. Bindi, uh, actually, Bindi's it's who I'm talking to, isn't it? Bindi, thank you very much, by the way, for all your cheers. You are top of the leaderboard at 329, you rock. So that's cool. So cheering is just a bit of fun. And yeah, that's it. Buy the Udemy course when it comes out. Um, okay, take a look at our catalog of courses. If you have, if there's any you haven't got, they're awesome. They are some of the best courses in the world. The U original Unity course, um, which we're remastering, this one here, and don't know when the remaster will be finished, by the way, people have asked several, many, many weeks, um, but we, we, Rick's working on it as fast as he can. That course was one of the most popular adult e-learning courses on the whole internet at one point, so it's a pretty busy and cool course. And yeah, keep watching, and uh, the next stream is whatever it says on our schedule. I don't know, I'm beholden to my own schedule now. 
Um, I made it up, and now I don't know when it is. Tomorrow, 10.30, so half an hour earlier than this tomorrow, so in 23 and a half hours' time, Rick and I will be starting to talk about the design and the scope of the game, and then, of course, challenging you to brush up your GDD and think about where you want to go. If you haven't already got part one, go get part one. Can you watch this stream series and, folk, uh, and, and join in live without, uh, without having finished part one? Sure you can, uh, and we'll work out how as we go along. Um, awesome. Thank you very much, everybody. I really appreciate it. Any other questions in voice while we're in in the voice lounge? There is a channel in the RPG, in the Discord, under the uh, game dev section. I've uh, created it there and set all permissions for it. Oh, my God. You're amazing. The jelly is... rocks. The jelly rocks. The jelly robbles or the jelly what? Walks? 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 No, walks are things you cook noodles in. <laughs> and the jelly rocks, he does. I can't actually see. Oh, it's just come up. Hello, rock. Okay, fantastic guys, signing off, and thank you very much for being here. More to come. <laughs> See you soon.